It's a big deal when the biggest boat sails into New York Harbor. Air 11 gets the view from above. As seen from the shore, the container ship obviously takes up a lot of space. Stand at the docks for a real sense of the size. Walk up the gangway at the Port of New York in New Jersey in Elizabeth. Certain all clear, thank you. The captain's waiting on the bridge. Oh, it was fantastic it, uh, because it's a very beautiful day. First time arriving, excellent. This can carry more than 16,000 containers that are 20 feet long. Packed with clothing, furniture, even holiday decorations. Crews unload about 3,000 of the even larger 40-foot containers. Cranes will run almost nonstop for the next two days. Trucks line up to get containers stacked up to be shipped out on other tractor trailers or by rail. It means a lot of work for us. I mean, they can work this ship into tomorrow night sometime. And uh, it's good for us, you know, it, 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 if we stay on overtime, it makes us a lot of money. We're used to seeing big things here around the city. You really get a sense of this ship once you look at it from the wide shot. Five city blocks, it stretches, it's bigger than the Empire State Building. Ships have been getting uh, larger. This ship would not have been able to uh, come under the old Bayonne uh, Bridge, so. You know, infrastructure, delivering real-world results. Sam Ruda is director of the Port of New York in New Jersey. This is the big time, especially as demand for products has increased during the pandemic. Basically kept shelves stocked, and uh, whether it's going to their old brick-and-mortar stores or e-commerce, it's cargo in these containers that are basically what's behind those orders. The ship's called the Marco Polo, named after the explorer. Cargo from Southeast Asia traveled through the Suez Canal, next stop Norfolk and then Savannah and Charleston. That's a Roger. This is the largest ship ever to call the U.S. East Coast. We'll set seven records in the next 11 days. Uh, and we're very proud of that. The ship departs Saturday. She will be back in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.